accused of crashing into a motorcyclist and then running from the scene is now under arrest. And the deadly hit and run was caught on camera in local 10's Christian Del Rosa live now in Miami with who police now have in custody. Christian. Justice is being served and that's because this hit and run driver didn't just leave his victim behind on the pavement. He also left the car he was in and inside identifiable information detectives used to track him down just blocks away from here. Con la ley más fuerte. Eh, eso no es humano. Prosecute him to the fullest extent of the law, says a neighbor about the man now under arrest for crashing into a motorcyclist and running away from the scene, leaving his victim to die. He had no regard for the victim. It happened around 4.30 Thursday morning on Flagler and Northwest 47th. Police say 46-year-old Elton Suarez Mesa was behind the wheel of the red Corolla. The defendant uh, ran a flashing red signal. The defendant violated the victim's right of way, which caused the crash. Suarez Mesa is seen exit the car. Look over at the man he just hit. He goes back to the vehicle, reaches inside, and rushes away on foot. El en el Family members say 50-year-old Edgar Sarduy Suarez was on his way to work. He was a ramp agent at Miami International Airport. Muy buena persona, todo el mundo lo on the phone, a family member heartbroken, telling us how so many people love him. The hit and run driver found at this Shell gas station on Lejeune and 7th Street, less than a mile away from where the crash happened. Investigators say he confessed. And he ran off, I believe, because he is not a U.S. citizen, that he is a flight risk. We had information that he was going to be fleeing as of last night. The judge ordered this hit and run driver a $100,000 bond, and even if he posts that bond, he will be put on an immigration hold. Live in Miami, I'm Christian De La Rosa, Local 10 News. Just